So I'm making this video to show you how to protect yourself from a brand new and really easy way for a bad guy to steal your ATM pin code with an iPhone. Even if you're shielding the keypad so he can't see you put it in. And to show how hard it is even to detect that it happened, I'm going to go into this store and steal somebody else's code. So watch closely to see if you can tell the moment that I actually do it. So she just swiped her ATM card and she's inputting the pin here, which is the last thing you do before you finish your transaction. And then I step up to make my purchase. So that was it. If you missed it, let me play that last part over again. You'll see as I walk up, my phone just briefly hovers over the keypad. So let me explain what just happened. So what I've got here is a device from a company called FLIR that just came out onto the market and it clips onto the back of an iPhone and it displays infrared which basically allows you to see the temperature of things. Here's where it gets interesting. 30 seconds ago I was sitting on this couch. You probably can't tell where, but how about now? Anytime two objects interact, they will tend toward thermal equilibrium, so they basically try and meet in the middle temperature-wise. And since I'm warmer than the couch, heat flows from my body to the spot on the couch where I'm sitting. So this leaves behind a thermal signature because it'll take a little time for that spot on the couch to cool back down and reach thermal equilibrium once again with the air. Likewise, if I set my warm hand on the cold wall, afterwards my hand is slightly colder, but the wall is slightly warmer where I touched it. And as you probably guessed by now, your fingers leave a thermal signature when you type your pin code into a debit card machine like this. And as you can see, in this case, the pin code was 12345. 12345? Yes! That's amazing! I've got the same combination on my luggage! And it gets worse, because since the heat signature fades with time, the bad guy can figure out the order in which the keys were pressed, because the hottest button is likely the one that was pressed last, and the dimmest button is likely the one that was pressed first. So after doing some digging around on this, I was able to find a paper that was published about this method by some researchers at UCSD several years ago. According to their data, they could guess the right pin code numbers 80% of the time if the image was taken right after. And if the image was taken a full one minute later, they still had a 50-50 chance of getting the numbers right. The scary thing is back then, infrared cameras cost $10,000, and it would be really hard to discreetly sneak something of this size into the store. Now, an infrared camera looks like an iPhone case. They're a couple hundred bucks, and you can get them at any Apple store. However, there are two pieces of good news here. The first is that this won't work on all keypads. For example, metal keypads reflect IR like a mirror, plus they're highly thermally conductive, which dissipates the heat quickly, which doesn't allow for a thermal signature to even be left behind. However, I still found plenty examples of rubber and plastic buttons in my area that definitely left behind a thermal signature. Not to mention the other applications beyond pin codes, such as door entry systems. The second, and this is the real point of this video, is that it is really easy to defend against this by simply resting your fingers on other buttons as you type in your code. As you can see here, this simple precaution makes a meaningless thermal signature. So spread the word, because it doesn't take any extra effort or time, and it makes this potential threat a complete non-issue. Oh, and finally, if you are part of the 11% of the population whose pin code actually is 12345, consider this sage advice. Change the combination on my luggage! Yes, sir. Ah!